Hey, what's up my crazy subscribers? This is Joe King Johnson before and today I want to talk about Rainbow Six Siege and I just want to have more of a chit chat You know, I want to share with you guys more information or more stuff that I like about the gaming industry and uh, Ever since like somebody called me a Call of Duty fanboy last year and my biggest controversy ever I'm like since when am I a Call of Duty fanboy again? <laughs> like I've never been so constant with Call of Duty content since like Black Ops 2 So how the hell did I end up being a fanboy and even after Black Ops 2 the only last time was like probably like advanced warfare where i did it like half of the year some of the content half of the year so um it's been quite a long time since i last even did call week stuff and even if i do it i just drop it like a month later because it doesn't get the business that i want you see the only reason why i do quality content is because it's for business if it gets the views i'll keep on doing it if it doesn't then i'll move on and for some odd reason i'm good at the game so at times i am you know at times i am Cause I'm good at Modern Warfare, and I was good in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I mean, I'll do content for it, you know. So, uh, but still, I mean, I'm still not a big fan of Call of Duty. That doesn't mean that I'm more of a fan of Rainbow Six Siege. I mean, even in my last live stream, I said that I was gonna buy a T-shirt from Rainbow Six Siege because that's how so much I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of. So, um, you know, there, there's so many reasons why I like Rainbow Six Siege. So many reasons. There's so many reasons, like, uh, for example, let's talk about the kills. You don't just get the kill. You create that kill. You see, you can use your gadgets. You can destroy walls. You can destroy floors. You can use the cameras to track down your enemies. You can be so tactical out there. You got to use your grappling hooks. I mean, not every single kill that you, that you get is the same one. Every single kill that you get in Rainbow Six Siege is always new. It's always going to surprise you. I mean, you can play like a thousand games from now. And at the end of the day, there's always a new kill after that. Because they're going to keep on releasing new operators, which means new gadgets. So that means that there's going to be another, another possibility added to that number. So it creates like around maybe 100,000 possibilities into, into killing an enemy. Compared to Call of Duty, where you could pretty much like just rush them head to head, kill them. Flank the enemy, kill them. Get behind him, kill him, snipe him, use your equipment, go into a building and snipe him. I mean, there's a good amount of possibilities, but not as much as Rainbow Six Siege. Because you can destroy walls. The environment is destructible. So you can destroy walls, you can destroy the floors, you can shoot them through through the floors also. I mean, you can shoot them through anything. And you'll still be super surprised about certain kills. You're going to be like, how did I even get this? How? And I've seen clips of Rainbow Six Siege also where people are still excited about certain kills because there's new operators. So they're going to be like, okay, how can I get a kill, a crazy kill with this guy? And they'll still do it. And they'll still be surprised after all these years. And I'm pretty sure these people have played over like a hundred thousand games and yet still be surprised about it. You know, still get surprised about certain kills out there. That's what gets me excited about this game, bro. Like I've get I get certain kills that are so like clutch sometimes or like so random that it's still exciting to watch. So uh, that's why I like Rainbow Six Siege, bro. Like there's just so many ways, so many ways to kill the enemy. And not only that, I mean the way the game plays is just so unique too. I mean, when was the last time you felt like a game being this sluggish, but yet so tactical? <laughs> it's not the movement is not bad. I just call it sluggish because it moves so slow. But that's more realism, I guess. You know, which I have no problem with. So. um Besides all this, too, before I even go further into what I like this game even more, um, I do not like their business practices, though. Some of the stuff here is super overpriced, but I get it. You know, I guess they got to make their money somehow, but that's the business practice. That's what every single company does. You know, they're always going to have some greedy stuff going on, but uh, I, I don't like their business practices, but I do like the game. So um, I know people are going to ask me, like, how much have you spent after buying the game? So far, I've only spent like around $80 or less than $80 over the span of three years. That's after purchasing the game. And I bought it on special. It was like $20, I believe, before it even got super popular. I think I bought it like before Blood Orchid, before uh, Hibana came out. Before that time, the game was already, it was a little bit dead. But then it rise up from the grave and it just became super popular after that. So I bought it on time because after that, uh, the game got a little bit of a... Of a higher price <laughs> it no longer costed like 32 dollars it cost like around 45 dollars to buy the game again so i bought it on time but after that ever since then i spent like 80 dollars extra and that's about it you know but in the span of three years really so i haven't spent that much but i'm a fan of the game because uh, it's just so fun to play it 
And every single live stream that I've done for Rainbow Six Siege, I always keep on mentioning, I respect this game more than Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty, I mean, over there, they're just trying to be greedy. Yes, I mean, I've, do, I've done good in the game. But uh, I respect this game more because they've done something special. They've done something different compared to any other first-person shooter out there. Being so destructible in close-quarter combat is just so different. That's why this game is fun. I like it. <laughs> I enjoy Rainbow Six Siege every time I play it. Sometimes I have my moments where I don't have a good day, but at the end of the day, I like Rainbow Six Siege a lot. So, um, so yeah, that's my talk about Rainbow Six Siege, guys. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. I mean, I'll talk about genres. I'll talk about my favorite games of all time, you know, in the future. And I'll let you guys know what I actually like. And hopefully I don't get in the future another freaking video calling me a call of Duty fanboy when I never was. <laughs> it, it was just so hilarious to see that in the title. I'm like, like really? Since when? <laughs> Since when have I ever said that I like Call of Duty? Just because I make Call of Duty content doesn't mean that I like it. Shit, man. <laughs> so anyways... That is it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, ask me anything, and I'll see you guys on the next one.